Hi, this is Vladan from SX Virtualization Blog. In this video, we will show you how to upgrade to Veeam Backup and Replication version 9. You will need at least Veeam version 7 patch 4 to be installed. And you should also backup your Veeam SQL data database. And you should also do a Veeam configuration backup from the Veeam menu. First thing to do is to install the Enterprise Manager. If you do run Enterprise Manager, if you don't, then you don't have to do this step. In order to install the Enterprise Manager, you need to install the .NET 4.5.2. You need to specify a license because the version 8 license don't work if you are upgrading to version 9. You get a prompt that you should back up your database. And then the process starts to installing the Enterprise Manager. You have to do in this order because uh, actually the Veeam backup and replication product, the button is grayed out, so you cannot install it in the wrong order. The whole installation can take up to 30 minutes. But uh, in my lab, I didn't run into any difficulties and everything went smooth. The video is a little bit accelerated, actually, because uh, otherwise it wouldn't been too long. So here we have another restart. And then we will start to installing the backup replication which as you can see is now the button is now clickable you can click on it and so yeah there is one database for a enterprise manager and one for um Veeam backup and replication product here again no difficulties Again, it takes some time. At the same time, it does install the Veeam Backup console, which is a new in this, in this version of the product. You can actually install the Backup console only on, uh, for example, your laptop and you can connect to the main backup server via this console by specifying the IP address or DNS name. So you have to RDP, RDP to your backup server in order to, to connect to the console there. But here we are on the, on the backup server, so we are connecting to the backup console as a local host. Right after the first uh, starting of the UI, you are prompted, as usually, to upgrade all the components like uh, Veeam Power NFS and all, and all the other components. This is it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.